All right. Hello, collective. Welcome to Angie Blog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah. I hope you're doing well. Happy New Moon and Cap Capricorn. Well, Aquarius. <laughs> uh, yes, it's been a while that I haven't been here, but I am pretty busy doing some shadow work, inner work, and also I'm in Patreon if you guys are, you know, interested. Okay, I'm doing uh, each of the signs the next months or so uh, whatever spirit is telling me to do is going to be in the description below i'm still half through i'm not uh, done yet but when i'm done i will post it on the anti blog community so you'll know okay also there will be some uh, previews on tiktok and stuff like that but i'm gonna start saying what i'm gonna do or what i'm doing because for some reason you know what it is you know but other than that today oh oh okay spirit has a message okay Ooh. so we have judgment and king of wands and reverse Ooh. we okay so there's a lot of messages that i have today or been downloading so i'm just waiting for confirmation but i just got a few confirmations before because i have it's gonna be quick uh, short and sweet okay uh okay so before this one they popped out there was another one that has come up okay um i will take a picture and show you guys in this video but i feel or if i didn't it will be in the community board okay because i'm trying to do everything as fast as i can uh, also go check out tiktok check out uh, youtube reels as well um yeah other than that guys i just want to say thank you so much for your subscriptions your likes your comments okay it really does help uh, us to continue doing and also the logarithm uh, continues showing it to other people. So thanks to you. Okay. Thank you. Those who are Patreon peeps and also those who donate. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your generosity, your reciprocity. Okay. And may these messages continue to help you in your journey and your spiritual journey, you know, back to yourself. Okay. And it helps you and be a blessing to you and perhaps to another person as well. Okay. Remember your healing, your shadow work and inner work that you're doing for yourself, not for seeking validation, not for other people. It matters. Okay especially in the spiritual realm because nothing happens in the physical before it happens in the spiritual so remember that because you are a spirit this it's just a vessel mm -hmm. and your intuition is your no, uh, north node your north star i talk about that in the angie block community but i feel like spirit has been showing me until now you know divine timing that how important it is your intuition your intuition is your it's your god wi-fi let's say your wi-fi your contact everything if you don't have intuition you have nothing okay so remember that because your intuition is your connection with god and anybody like that's what he's saying that there is someone or many people right now like kind of antichrist consciousness and kind of like against you know because they heavily benefit from people not knowing and being they benefit from people being ignorant and asleep and them benefiting or whatever you know no judgment to all those people but i feel like those who who don't know god they seek him in a very distorted and strange way but also you can't blame them because if they don't know about the colonization they don't know that they have to do shadow work and inner work they haven't been taught that and also any content about that has been like suppressed kind of thing so people don't know how important it is to heal themselves and once they heal themselves their intuition is because we all have intuitive, we all can be intuitive, okay? Everybody. Now, are you in the right space to receive this blessing? Because it is a blessing, okay? It's a blessing to build a relationship with our creator. And the fact that if you don't know what that means, and you're trying to understand intuition, you're trying to gain clarity, you need to assess yourself. What is it that you're doing right now or thinking that is blocking that energy, okay? Because a lot of us in the Empress energy, Empress talks about divine feminine energies. Someone who has, who does not have an intuition, you need to check what is within yourself, either male or female, doesn't matter. Are you, especially during the Sandy Moon in Aquarius? Absolutely, okay? This is the perfect time for that. And I feel like a lot of us who are going through some serious spiritual awakening, you know, this is the hangman energy uh have been stuck stagnant procrastinating don't know what's going on everything seems to go wrong and stuff like that 
the Ace of Swords talks about truth, okay? So there's a message here specifically. To be divine, and honestly, I talk about that in the podcast as well. So he's letting me know to you guys from the 50s uh, podcast episodes, that is uh, a lesson about intuition, okay? So if you want to know about intuition, if you want to know about how to, because the first thing to get intuition, you have to pray for a spiritual discernment. And the first before that, do you believe in God? Because intuition is God itself within yourself, right? Also, intuition is also connected to your higher self. That's you and God together, okay? And that too, the, you know, the trinities, the Holy Spirit, the mind, body, and soul, you know, how all of that is connected. Holy Spirit, God, and His Son are all connected, right? And that also entails an intuition um, that you gain from nurturing uh, that relationship and your intuition as well. Also praying every single day for a spiritual discernment. You have to test the spirits, any spirits now. The veil has been revealed for those of you to, as a gift, okay? But those who don't have that, work on that. It's work. <laughs> Intuition is work. <laughs> it's not something that it just magically comes to you. Some of us, yes. It just, not magically. It comes with um, uh, survival of trauma situations. So intuition can be triggered by trauma as well. Okay. For most of us who are empath, highly sensitive people, highly intuitive and see us, you're being attacked by that, about that. This is why you healing has started before COVID-19, right? Or during COVID-19. And now a lot of you are experiencing that spiritual warfare and you're understanding who is doing who, who is doing what, especially if you built that good relationship with God, you're being you know, obedient and stuff like that. You're the most hated. Why? Because you're free. I got that scripture today and I was like, oh my God. Yes, you're not gonna be liked. When you do things outside of the box that everyone is programmed and conditioned to do and they think that that's the only way that they, they could survive here and they don't have God in their life as a priority, as a priority, oof, it's harsh. It's hard for them, okay? So that's why don't judge or, you know what I'm saying? You embrace that Christ consciousness that, you know, you're reading the Bible and teaches, uh, all their teachers and stuff like that, but also you use a spiritual discernment. You know when Holy Spirit said, there's some spiritual discernment to do there as well. Even on the most holiest, because the people who wrote that were people of, that were men, right? And also during that time, there were things that happened during that time that not necessarily could be happening now, but it's completely different and unique to each of us. So that's why judgment, it's not helpful right now. Okay, so I try not to judge other people, but do use spiritual discernment with anything. For example, I felt some type of way to post that message, this message actually, because I was like, I, what? Because this is someone like, they usually have high, high, like, you know, really big platforms and stuff like that and all about the cloud. And instead of like asking, you know, having like a conversation, an open conversation, an open-minded, maybe like a podcast or a blog or something that where they, they can discuss these two different um, views and observations. No, this person decided to take their own point of view and put God in a box. <laughs> and you know who this is, because I'm not saying anybody, but those who will see that video that is going around, you will see what I mean. He, he or she is referring intuition as a preference. And I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want to, that's not what I'm here for. I'm just a guide. And he wanted me to tell you guys, intuition is not a preference. That's you putting God into a small categorized box and you can't do that. Actually, you, even if you try, it just, it's just going to crumble that observation. Okay. Uh, especially that person needs to do more shadow work, more inner work, and their heart chakra is closed. I, I saw it in the video, like you could tell that this person is operating on their ego, very logistic. They don't really know about spirit. They have something, they, they, there's some spiritual narcissism in, uh, in that energy. They're anti-hero, anti, I'm hearing that song, anti-hero. <laughs> it's me, I, and I hate Taylor Swift, but actually I don't hate, I just don't like her energy. I don't hate her. I just, her energy is just not, it's just not, <laughs> not the purest form. But that song also, I, mm, yeah. yeah, so there you go.
you'll feel it in this person's energy as well. That's why it's like when you're in that healing journey, right? Wherever journey you are, wherever, because it's a choice as well. But when you're in that journey, okay, spiritual discernment, right? Really discerning, very intuitive. You want the truth, nothing but the truth. That's why the Ace of Swords kept coming twice in this energy, okay? You stand on your ground. You're successful and victorious, especially when you speak the truth. You have integrity. There's going to be a lot of attacks. And it comes, it's going to come from family, ex-friends, uh, co-workers, anybody like that, okay? So for me, the lesson that I'm putting out there for you is that continue doing what you're doing. It will irritate a lot of people's demons, but that's your you shining the light to those darkness that needs to be shine on, right? So I feel like the energy, what it's saying specifically for that person um, or whoever thinks that intuition is a preference, it's not. Intuition is everything. <sighs> I don't know. I can, I, I'm trying to explain it, but thank you, Holy Spirit. Intuition is like your inner guidance your way to breathe it's like a breath <laughs> your intuition is yes it, it helps you decide for right or wrong but he kept saying like spirit kept saying like be careful with preference this is why preference is not the right word and you have to be careful what words because yeah you know god gave us that that gift also of this um you know, you can discern spirits and stuff like that. You have the authority for those who have pure hearted and, you know, who are doing good. You also have that authority from the tongue. So your words and your, and your, when you speak, um, has power. Okay. So what he's saying is that, that you're going on the right path, whoever this is, but you need to ask the right questions. Ask these questions within, but also seek, uh, spiritual counselors, spirituals and stuff like that, especially when you're going to the spiritual journey. Like I said, I give you guys a list. If you go on widercf.com, your spiritual guides and gurus, these are my peeps that I have been following since I started this journey. And I keep adding more as Holy Spirit guides me there, okay? So if you're starting, if you're starting with this new spiritual awakening and uh, or you're a different path of your ego death or um, you really don't really understand and you're listening to other people who mindsets and conditions and programs are very old and outdated, I feel like these are the individuals that can help you. But then again, do your own research. That's the point too. Shadow work and inner work is individual, but eventually you'll come into communities. But that journey, that knowing thyself, know your self-worth and creating boundaries and keeping your heart open, but creating boundaries and manifestations and understanding that, uh, praying for spiritual discernment, uh, it's all a solo journey within you and Christ, with you and God and divine, whatever you want to call it. And um, yeah, I feel like this person has an issue with that, whatever, you know, I feel like they, they can't even say the word God, it bothers them. And it's so sad. Honestly, I feel sad for people like that, that you can, like God, the word God or Jesus or ascended masters or the universe causes you, triggers you. And for me, it's like, wow, I... I hope that this heals you and it helps you in some way, okay? Because I don't think how you can survive in a planet like this when you... But then again, if you're doing evil things, that's short-lifted, okay? That doesn't prolong life. That doesn't give you your divinity back. That just keeps you lack in bondage, okay? And uh, yeah, divine feminine and masculines, they have a lot of self-worth okay they know thyselves and uh yeah they listen to their intuition only so if you don't have that don't give up you know because a lot of people it's like when you start workouts and stuff like that like you oh it's too hard so you give up and you just let it go no eventually you will you will hear him or her okay you do when you do the work especially the work that you guys don't feel like doing Oh, I can't be celibate. I can't. I can't be single for so long. Oh, no, I need to be drinking and alcohol and doing all these things because there's something within yourself that you don't want to, you want to numb it. Mm. Yeah, I used to be like, that's the thing. I'm coming as a someone that had been there, done that, you know, and then I saw what that was going, where that was heading. And I was like, ah, no, let's go to better ways of evolving and spiritually growing and uh being okay with change actually liking it a lot um 
adapting, you know, evolving, because that's what we're here for too, you know, healing and stuff. It's an earth school, you know, but also you have to understand that this earth school comes with the spiritual uh, aspect of it, whether we like it or not. That's another one. Yeah. Religions ha has created a way to keep you guys separated and disconnected. Okay. So when we talk about disconnecting, that means something in your intuition is blocked. Okay. So when you feel disconnected from within yourself first, okay, and from literally discerning and listening to the right, because that too, you have good spirit and bad spirits, right? You have the Holy Spirit and then you have the counterfeit personating as the Holy Spirit. So this is why that solo journey is so important because the whole point of that is to understand who is who in the spiritual realm. So there's a lot of training that goes, so those who say like, oh, chose it, you have no idea. You have no idea. The real people, the real light workers, you know what I'm talking about. Like this explanation about intuition, you don't need to be doing this. But some of y'all have been called to do this because you have a in your community, in your div divinity or wherever your position right now, wherever location that you're at, your information is needed. So that's why that's why Spirit also says for a lot of y'all. When you're in divine feminine energy, you don't compare or compete with other people or you don't try to judge other people or I don't know, there's something he's saying like if another person depends on what type of information, but let's say you both receive similar uh, confirmation or similar uh, messages. But you're in different, completely different states or different, you know what I'm saying? And it, yes, somehow it might resonate the same. And let's say you both encounter yourself through the world wild web, you know, it's just what it is. And you see like, oh, that information is similar to mine. That like, I don't know, he keeps saying like, you have to be mindful of the fact that spirit could be giving both of you the same message, but both of you will have different delivery, different actions. Also, to those who that message is for, is going to resonate differently than your community, than that person community. So that's why he's saying, like, no message is um, wasted. It's more like it's reproduced because it, it only means that that person in that community could be listening to you or it could be listening to that community. So Spirit, what is doing is using the both of you, or it could be three, it could be four, where this person has to hear this message somehow somewhere from anything okay so that's what he also saying about that like don't think that you know if you've been stuck or hearing the same thing over and over it's just it means that this is specific for uh seers or clamorians or prophets okay but uh yeah spirit of the sermon use that okay ace of air Okay, so let me read you the message they want me to tell you. Okay, so the Empress energy. I don't know, it's just interesting that before this card, I just want to show you. So you have the Empress energy, right? Earth angel, divine feminine, could be a masculine, healing their feminine energies. And without your feminine energy, you don't have intuition. Remember that. This is why women, feminines, have that sixth sense. It's because we carry, we are very intuitive and powerful this is why the system and enemy targets women specifically okay men the, unfortunately if you're in a low vibration you're easily manipulated and control and you're easily used to also manipulate and control women so that's why women it's important that you know your worth it's important that you do the decolonization it's important that you're aware of the shadow side of oppression injustices that it has been done to you for many millennia. But also remember that you are also part of a collective of indigenous community, LGBTQ, like all the people who are in that category of oppressive system. Your job is to know that and your job is to break that cycle. Patriarchy, yeah, yeah, that one. And the job of masculine energy is to protect you while you do that work. This is why women should not be after men because you have a lot of work to do. A lot. This is why divine feminines are not doing that. This is why they nurture themselves. This is why they're having a celib celibacy journey or abstinence with anything, any negative vibes. And that's why you're heavily attacked. Okay. But also you're heavily protected. So you have nothing to worry about. Just continue doing what you're doing. The message is that continue doing what you're doing, especially if it's positive for other people, especially if it's helping people heal or find themselves and go through this journey, especially if it's contributing to a greater thing bigger than yourself let's just say okay and the divine masculine they have to heal themselves 
Let go of patriarchy, basically, really. Decolonization, they have to do deeper decolonization as well. And also how them creating boundaries and protecting themselves is also protecting you. How is that entail? How can they be the provider as they are meant to be? Or how can they, you know, these are things, shadow work, inner work that they have to do, healing their shadow, their uh, inner childhood wounds and stuff like that. But also that too, their acknowledgement that when they're connected to you, their healing can go isolate even more, especially when you're on your healing journey, especially when you're in divine feminine energy. This is why the, and the system is thread by this truth that you're speaking of, if you're speaking truth and clarity and justice to other people as well during this time, okay, Divine Feminine? It's because you're awakened, um, your healing energy is literally creating catalysts everywhere, not just here, but like globally, which is also affecting your uh, divine counterparts, okay? So that spiritual warfare that you're going through right now is part of the training. Yeah, I know. Nobody wants to hear that, but uh, I'm here to give you the news about that. <laughs> Spiritual news. Okay. Time to take action, Empress. Male or female? Mm. Give birth to your dreams. Creative projects will be very successful. Abundance and prosperity. So you see why the spiritual warfare is going on? God wants you to remember that. Also, don't let anybody tell you about how you should use your intuition, how you're like, even me, like go do your research after you listen to me, go talk to him because my message comes directly and, and that's it. That's my job. And I love my job, actually, you know, feels like a rebel already kind of thing, you know, <laughs> but it's okay. Those who don't like it, well, that's not my problem. You need to heal. You need to work on that. So there's a lot of massive spiritual awakening right now globally okay so a temporary pause for reflection and insight an awakening where you were where you see things in a whole new light mm -hmm. embrace your own uniqueness charitable action so that too is like the energy also divine feminine you've been guided as well that once your full your cup is full to be given to other people to you know be there for others and not just materialistic but also like you know could be prayers, could be uh, donations, it could be um, you know sharing content or something like that, or um, you know donating to their cash apps or PayPal's or something like that. Like different community communities, different people, maybe spiritual people that help you along the way and stuff like that. Like just you really need to use your intuition for this, okay? Because um yeah there's definitely some truth or something that it's coming in anyway so when i saw the spiritual awakening here i saw that this creature has like a specific i don't know if you can see it 22 on the clock and i'm like oh my god i have this deck see <laughs> so i was like okay so the first card that i picked up it was the ace of swords <laughs> So I was like, oh my God, we're going to drop some truth. This true, the spirit of truth is around here. And it has always been, but you know, we keep it crystal clear around here. You know what I'm saying? Also, spiritual uh, journey or discernment does not come with a perfect, uh, oh, everything is love and light. Hell no. No. It comes with also acknowledging that you are human. You're not perfect. You have shadow. You have addictions you have things that you got to work on and you have to acknowledge it you have to see the problem and be aware of it in order to fix it in order to heal it in order to find the solution right right so you got to be realistic here as well okay because it's not whatever you see in the outside that people try to portray it or something like that like the whole uh, awakening is realizing that you don't have to be something that you're not or pretend to like something or love someone or or something like that if you're not feeling that like having that integrity like that's what spiritual uh, spirituality the real kind is understanding that you know this comes with like having integrity and being honest and uh, understanding that your divine your divinity is priority and that connection with the most highest priority and the truth standing with the truth even if it makes you uncomfortable and trust me this makes me very uncomfortable but i was like okay god use me <laughs> whatever you know he just kept saying like i have to we have to put this message out so i'm just being obedient ace of air so when this came out with the wings and then i was like oh my god and then in my deck i kept seeing the queen of swords in this deck and then the ace of swords again with a child with the truth and the butterfly so it's like some type of transformation 
that you guys are going through and i feel like some truth will set you guys free so it's like be aware of that be mindful of that okay some truth might make you kind of like shock and kind of like retreat and rest and like look at things from a different perspective and i feel like i've been doing that lately but it's like oh but no shame and guilt towards that as well because i feel like you'll feel like the projection of other people like who benefit from your energy from you um constantly giving 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 and then you know it has to be a reciprocity it has to be both ways okay so i don't know i feel like this is a message for someone also spread your wings something about your wings you know you have wings you're free okay don't let anybody make you feel that you're not because you are right here right here brilliant new ideas and inspiration seeing the truth of a situation a challenging beginning okay and now see look the the queen of swords came out with the sun so there's like a truth is being light up about how you work or what you do or how you work or how you do your things like something about working doing things with integrity right now okay because it's it, it the reward is very beneficial okay brilliant experience humor is judgmental releasing see judgmental that learn how to be mindful of what kind of judgment you make or, or assuming things before getting the facts that's what it is okay get the facts before you assume something or you speak without thinking and stuff like that okay that's what the queen of swords is queen of swords also is like very intelligent very discerning but also like remember there's always two sides of the coin right realizing situations or people that no longer serve you seeing the humor in difficult situations absolutely you're gonna laugh at certain things right now that you're going through that yeah might be uncomfortable yeah it's not really a laughing matter but like later on you'll see why things happen how it had to happen and right now i can be the testimony of that that there are a lot of things last year where i was right now where now i'm like laughing a little bit about it because i was like oh my god that's crazy but during that time it didn't feel laughable it didn't feel like comfortable you know it felt very uncomfortable it felt really like you know and i had to go you have to go through it's like a caterpillar you know you're going to um, how do you say that before the butterfly becomes out you know you have to go through that process that transformation that really and it's uncomfortable it's not supposed to be comfortable right and i feel like a lot of us are so used to being comfortable you know and now the energy of the new earth or the new era is to be comfortable with the uncomfortable because we have to unlearn to relearn and that process on itself is a huge transformation that not only evolves our internal um spiritual uh being divine being that we're here but also in a more um conscious like having putting things that were unconscious in a conscious matter and all of that just saying it it, it it requires a specific work a specific discipline that i feel like the most high is trying to teach us right now specifically divine feminines and divine masculines especially if you're choosing your healing journey and fuck everything else anybody any man or whatever this plain 3d you're not stuck in bondage right those who are stuck in bondage though you know why right but don't judge just guide them by your actions and if they want to be inspired by you and do their own thing great that means you did well if they don't and they just want to lash out project it's time to cut that off that's another one too the envious jealous spirits okay so make sure that you don't have that spirit make sure that you are finding ways and solutions of how to not be in in that energy and that's how you also keep your heart pure and you're getting your intuition and spirit to discernment like this okay yes okay so seeing the humor okay for focusing on a career so right now a lot of you you're getting a lot of people like kind of upset that you're focusing on your career your thing but that's not your problem okay so spirit saying just continue doing what you're doing okay diverse or unmarried individuals okay so, so someone could be doing that this king of wands and judgment in reverse that could be that's why it's going because there's double truth here ace of swords so that's an omen already okay so brilliant ideas that may need refinement okay overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out 
remember faith without action is nothing you have to have faith but you also have to put in the work whether it's internal or external whatever that means okay but usually when you're uh, internally you're good you're uh, doing the right things for the most high first being obedient um, working on whatever your gifts and talents that are for other people and stuff like that but first you take care of yourself first then everything just comes out like confidence and you know you don't really have to do much okay but yes that work in a work shadow work it is work and it's not as easy as a seaman it's not the same as everyone that healing is completely unique to everybody and it's not something that it's like a straight it's like all over the place one day you could be good and then whether they like it's that it's like a wave you have to learn how to serve in your own waves let's just say and deal with your own inner demons as you serve those waves yeah everybody wants to be spiritual until you get to the real stuff and understand how this it's deeper in the spiritual realm mm. strange strange things can really help you guys see uh how that works as well uh inception could be a good way to also understand intuition all that and spiritual discernment um so many but just look for it ask uh, your you know your guides as well when you're nurturing your intuition that's another way that you can test it like it will tell you okay this is a good movie let's watch it together kind of thing yes spirit will be like that oh listen to the song this is actually some words can actually help you something message or something to confirm something that you be it's been bothering you lately you have to pay attention you have to listen right and be patient when those before you know there's that period of you know and that too what god hasn't answered you or spirit and stuff like that they're busy okay they're busy yes okay so and don't feel discouraged or anything like that and don't do things impulsively oh i didn't hear this message right now no make that your confirmation you stop and you listen before you act okay that's also how you learn about patience and how to be more calm and stuff like that let go of that angry spirit that we all have mm. yes yeah and that too observe yourself when things that are sent to you as a healing or person places or things and it triggers you watch your reaction your emotions there because that is where the healing as well is okay communicate clearly and con consciously concisely we will try doing this mercury retrograde <laughs> we will try uh and then again trying is like you know just do it that's it and remain objective okay so something about objectivity not be too logical some things sometimes can be not really explained okay okay so the overall energy of this there's someone okay so this person could have lack of leadership skills okay uh and they're going through some type of judgment okay or they're trying to avoid some type of judgment or they don't want people to judge them and stuff like that you know mm -hmm. but also it could be that someone is in you know in a player energy so they're learning some lessons this king of wands king of wands in reverse <sighs> this feels like someone who likes to sabotage things um they don't have self-discipline or control uh they're very addictive and they're into dark arts as well and, and a male figure kind of thing okay and when things don't really work out for these people they tend to be very aggressive and angry okay so i feel like the judgment here is that someone is going through some type of judgment okay so i don't know if it's related to whoever is talking about intuition and saying i don't know I don't know if it's the same person or it could be somebody else but we have again a message within a message here <laughs> but it's something about a family it's something that they do it's like a family thing or something like that okay there is also leo aries sagittarius in a low vibration that are going through some serious karma right now uh they could have judged people a lot too because these are people like they feel like they're righteous you know and they don't do nothing wrong very perfect <laughs> you know and they're not open to communication they're not open to also they're a player like these people know being players in the himalayas okay and they're very attractive see this guy's like damn but it's that's it it's just physical there's nothing internal 
to be someone just with a vessel. Again, it could be an antichrist, like anti-spiritualist and stuff like that, like going through some serious judgment right now. They're being judged at the moment, okay? Well, a lot of you, if this person has, I don't know, with the temp, like they feel like unfulfilled, something about fulfillment or a family or something like that, right? You have the King of Cups, the Lovers, and the Hermit. Oof. Yeah. There is a go within because it's like they carry a lot of... Because they don't have self-discipline, they lack boundaries. I feel like this person carries a lot of inner demons from other people. Why? Because they're sexually active with these demonic succubus, incubus. So that's a message for someone. So someone who is in this energy, divine feminine or masculine... It's not good karma for you. I feel like this person is trying to transfer their bad karma to you. And there could be some gaslighting, judgment, and stuff like that. But it's because they are heavily judging themselves, okay? But also, it's like they try not to be aware of their um, inconsistency as well. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, and it's also, this person could be very triggered by two truths right now that is coming up for this person. It could be a divorce of why someone is divorcing them. They cheated. This feels like a cheater. Uh, a liar, manipulator, okay? And there's an empress energy who's trying to come out of that, of being stuck with this energy as well, okay? So that's it. I feel like someone could be saying, let's say someone's intuition is telling this person to walk away from this narcissist because this feels like a narc, okay? And this person could be like, well, I have a certain following, right? I have certain people who lead me and stuff like that. And uh, you're not allowed to judge me. You don't even know what intuition is. Oh, your intuition. Like, this is someone, like, trying to um, dehumanize someone's intuition that is telling them to walk away from them. But this pe person is not taking this truth. They think they're perfect. They think that... People should not walk away from them. Should, people should not... Like, wherever you are, if your intuition is telling you you've been getting signs, like ace of truth everywhere, you're victorious and amazing without this person, okay? I feel like they're energy vampire, to be honest, okay? Like, right now, Spirit is saying, like, forgive yourself and forgive others, okay? Like, that's the message that they want to tell you, that you're going through a transformation and you will be moving forward towards better outcome, okay? Yeah, you could be also, like, wow, majestic, like a high priestess or high priest, okay? This is why this person is annoyed. Like, they're irritated about your energy, but that's not your problem, Okay? And that's what I have for you, my beautiful people. I hope this is helpful. I love you. I'll see you next time because this will take a little bit of while to upload. But I hope this message came as a blessing and it became clear for a lot of you. You don't want to involve yourself with energies like this, okay? Like they can't smell their own fart. Yeah. This is someone who like, they don't know where their bad asshole is. Yeah. They think that their shit don't stink. Yes. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, I hope that makes sense. But King of Wands energy, if you're not in that energy, stay the fuck away. Okay, these people have learning to, lessons to learn. And um, they could have sexual transmitted demons, but you don't want nothing to do with that, okay? And I feel like Spirit is trying to keep that divinity, that pure essence, that creativity, that self-care, self-love, you know, and like... Trying to get you unstuck by revealing these two truths to you. Okay? I love you. I hope this is helpful. And I'll see you next time. Enjoy New Moon in Aquarius. Make sure you're manifesting. Okay? Write down, you know, Aquarius is an air sign. So make sure you write your manifestations and blast it on fire. Break it into pieces. Blow it in the wind. <laughs> uh, you know? Just, yeah, and then forget about it. Trust divine, okay? Trust the universe, trust God that he got you, okay? Because that's what you get. You guys are beautiful manifestator when your heart and your mind and your soul are in the good high vibration of those manifestations that you're making, okay? I love you. See you next time. Bye.